Wait one second, making sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to a special episode. Sorry about that, I need to take a drink of water before we get into it. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to be going over something very, very old. Wait, have to get the bar to actually function. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be comparing my first ever video about six years ago, as this is my six year anniversary part one episode. I forgot to say that, I do apologize. Okay, but this is me going over my first ever video. And my latest Dino D-Day video, Dino D-Day, the greatest World War II game, greatest dinosaur World War II game. I guess I should have put the dinosaur first, World War II dinosaur game. Okay, so we're gonna wait, wait, wait one second, make sure I'm recording. I'm gonna record. turn it down a little bit, as I am very loud in this episode. I, I was still getting adjusted I guess like a play on Pokemon. with I've my. That I do notice that like, there is a little bit of blur around it. Uh, let's see. Gustav Diesel. It does look quite, Diesel. you know, smooth. Dazzle. I'm using a new PC, so it will He's probably dazzled. look a lot smoother. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I do quite enjoy the pistol in this game. Uh, it's I was saying, I did pretty well at the very beginning of this episode, what and then by the it? end of the episode, I was dying quite a lot. And now we're going to compare it to our oldest video on the channel about six years ago it's unlisted so it can't be accessed and all that uh, let's see you can see how quiet my voice is uh, let's see I would turn up a little bit louder for myself but I don't know if that would be a good idea might, might as well There we go, that, that, that's a tiny little bit better. Uh, let's see. But this was my first ever uh, video back in the day. And it was Dino D Day Online Episode 1. Gaming Tuesday. That would evolve into Gaming Thursday. And then Gaming Thursday would evolve into Random Days, Random Games. And then that would evolve into Random Games, Random Days. That is now over. 500 episodes long. That, that is, you know, a lot of episodes. Over 500 episodes of Random Days Ram Games. Also, I do apologize for the temporary uh, okay down in the left hand corner. I had to uh, improvise as I did not have my file that has the uh, okay that I normally use, the one that I'm currently using on my channel. Uh, let's see, my original. What? Well, yeah. Not my original. My original uh, thing that I used for the channel back in the day was a tank. Oh. And let's see. I don't know how fast I can do this. Two. There we go. And tank. Oh. And. I think it was, a, I think it was this picture, but it had like a PNG background that you could, you know, still use it. And this was my icon that I used for my channel for a short, short while, about a year or two. Uh, let's see. But it's from the game Tanko, and I think I used this one as well. Uh, let's see. But I always loved uh, Tukadin 2, I played it back in the day. It was a great game. I, w I would want to play it back. Well, I would want to play it in today's. Uh, let's see. Channel. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you, know, you know what? That, that would not be a bad idea. Would you be interested in watching me play uh, Tukadun 2? I've not played it in years. Last time I played it, I finished the game. And then I was doing some uh, side quest stuff afterwards. Just completing everything I could. You can see how slow I was back then. This is me coming off of my uh, high time of uh, being pretty good at games back in the day. But then, 
on PC I was not very good at you know, games. I was good on the consoles back in the day, but around when I started playing PC, I started becoming a lot worse. Um, I have like you know a good skill, and then it just went. <laughs> uh. But that was like you know a pretty good uh, time back. I think it was. I think it was either 2017 I started not being very good at games. Like, I remember playing uh, Battlefield 1 back in the day. And I used to get like 40 kills every uh, round. And then it dropped to 20 and then it dropped to uh, about 7 kills per round and about 12 deaths. So not a very uh, good KD. Uh, let's see. I've not used that in years, that word. KD kill death ratio. Ah, uh, the big dinosaur. When I recorded this episode was back in it's five years ago now. But hmm, it's been six years since the same. It has been six years since uh, 2017, right? I'm gonna check that up again. 2016 or 2017? How long ago? How long ago? How many years? Five years. Wait, it's five years? I thought it was six years. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, but what? What have I done? I'm not used to this, uh, you know, stuff with the PC now. I don't even know what that was there. Uh, okay. But it's been five years since 2017. I saw it was six years. Maybe I'm just counting on my previous channel. I think I was counting on my previous channel. Because I had a previous channel that I used to do, uh, glitches. Like, find random glitches. The most stupidest glitches you could think about. Like... Getting your pistol stuck while you're on a. It's not a moped, it's a quad bike from Far Cry 4 from that back in the day. Uh, let's see. So that was always uh, glitches that I would find randomly. I would, you know, put up like, you know, a tablet or something and I would just film it just a little bit and it would just be the shakiest camera ever. Ugh. <laughs> But I think I was counting on that six years. I thought it was about six years now. Maybe I'm like a year ahead. Feels like a year ahead. <laughs> uh, but five years since that, since I uploaded this video. Uh, I guess it's not my six year anniversary, it's my five year anniversary. That was very weird. I thought it was six years. Uh, I guess it would be my six year anniversary if you count my previous channel, previous Tankleberry. That if I was to go back to, if I remember the name, Tankleberry. Uh, let's see. It's very weird what pops up for uh, me on this. Like, this is mostly just a random a bunch of stuff, like, you know, there's, like, oh, that one tweet I did, like, ten years ago, but, you know, not actually. Uh, let's see. There was something that I wanted to show, but I can't find it. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. It was here a while ago. Uh, let's see. But, I guess it's my five year anniversary video now. Okay. But I might as well redo the, the opening. This game, I... I, I would really play the remaster of Dino D Day if they made it. Uh, let's see. But, I'm going to redo the tale. Hello and welcome back to a Random. Well, not random games, random days, because we're not actually playing a game. 
Hello and welcome to a special video. This is my five year anniversary. I saw it six years originally. Uh, it's weird to think that it's not been six years. Feels like six years. But I've been on YouTube for longer than six years. Uh, I always loved the tenkos and uh, took it into the cutest animal. And you could get a tenko armor, but you needed to buy that. And I never bought that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing beats a tenko and uh, took it into for a little cute thing. They are very tiny. That is so cute. Looks like a cheese wedge or cheese wheel on top of the tenko. And it has a little grass in its mouth. Uh, okay. I mostly just wanted to compare these two videos. I really just wanted to compare these two episodes, you know. One from a. Uh, five years ago and one from today uh, but about two days ago yeah two days ago was my five year anniversary but you know I would still count it as being six years ago you know, I did you know upload videos on a previous Tankberry channel a long time ago uh, let's see mostly just very weird glitch videos and I realize that. Very weird. Uh, but you can see how uh, lagging the frame drops. I was running this on my original PC that I had, and then I switched it to a different PC. That PC would be the one that I would start my first ever Minecraft modded survival, and then go on to Minecraft Jungle Paradise. And then that's how Minecraft Jungle Paradise came around. And it was because after this I got a different PC. I got a PC for Christmas, right? That's why it's the 26th of, uh, what do you call it? 26th of December. And then, I got another PC because the other PC broke. It it was not functional. And have you seen the, I think it's my older videos. You can see that the Windows thing, Windows, you know, complete your thingy appears. At some point and that was just because the PC that I had was bought and then you know I could never fix that one issue of please just sing your windows finish setting up your windows when it was actually set up oh that was in my videos for years uh, I was hoping that it would look a little bit nicer Maybe I don't have the right quality. I'm at, I'm at 360 quality. You, you can get better quality. It just... Uh, does not want to do it while I'm on PC. It's probably because I'm also uh, downloading something in the background. Uh, but the game was actually quite smooth when I played it. A lot smoother than I did... Let me get the video. Five years ago, because if you look at this, right... You can see that, that little b -b -b thing in the recording. And I was not very good at this because it was super laggy for my view and it was super laggy for this view. You know, so you can see hear my mic, mic break in there. And also, a cool fact, I still actually have that mic. I remember I switched to a Logitech mic that eventually broke to bits. It's plastic just rotted away when I mean rotted away it just broke it was that thin but it was a uh, you know that Logitech video that guy reviewing it and it has like cowboy music in the background like da -da 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 -da. you know it's like you know like you're giving a review on a cow you know that meme well I actually had that headset before that video I think I don't know if I can find it. Logic Tech Cowboy Music The Logitech G3, I think that's the right one, is that the right one, yeah, 
No, no, no. It's not that one. That one's different, I think. Okay. Maybe similar. Oh. Eh. We must go to page two of Google. Eh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to pause myself in the background because it's very weird hearing my voice backwards. I'm pretty sure it might have been actually this one. That, that's the meme. That is a meme. I will actually mute it just so I don't get copyright two years ago. Actually, I'm pretty sure I had it before two years. Yeah, let's see, but this was a video that was playing cowboy music in the background. What's with the background music, man? Are you reviewing headsets or counts? Uh, but that's actually my headset there. Uh, it was actually pretty reliable. I played Fallout New Vegas with this and I could not find it on the actual official Logitech website. So I just linked Logitech for my headset at that time. Uh, let's see. I currently have a Corsair headset. That's a lot better. I'm not joking. It's actually pretty good. I don't know what one it is. It's one of the Logitechs. Not the newest, but, you know, a pretty reasonable and pretty good one. Uh, let's see. Well, it is actually a pretty good headset. If I had to recommend a headset to use for uh, listening for stuff, and its comfortability is also good, I would probably give this one. It's a cheap, you know, one. But you can barely find this on the market no more. My mother had to, Mother Berry had to find a second one after my other one I had to tape together and it was barely holding together had one side of it just you know slopping on a wire for uh, a lot of my recordings because it fell a bit fell to parts with uh, the plastic it just you know broke off and this was you know just leaving it for a second and then it just you know a little crack forms and then poof, it just pops right off I was just you know sitting recording one time and then it just went pew literally pinged off and almost hit me uh, but that was my headset from back in the day not the one that I'm using there it was the one that I got after and that was this I used the mic for a long time I actually quite enjoyed this one's mic even though it was terrible the mic quality I still used it because I quite enjoyed it because it was easy to use and it also had a mute button, so it was easily, you know, mutable. And I used that mic all the way up until 2021? January, I think. I think that's right, January of 2021. And it was, no, 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 that's wrong. It might have been months after that. Yeah, it was months after that that I stopped using this and then I switched to an actual mic mic. I still used it for the volume but I switched to a mic that I currently have today. I'll give you a good tap. Probably blowing your ears right now. I do apologize. Uh, but I've had this uh, mic for a long long time now and I do think it's actually quite good. Mic quality is not bad. Holds up pretty well. And, you know, it still holds. It's still uh, quite strong in the market. It's a trust mic. Uh, GXT232, yeah. Trust GXT232 is what I use. And I would definitely say that it is a quite good mic compared to, uh, what do you call it, a lot of uh, other mics that they have on the market. I would definitely say it's a reasonable mic for YouTube if you're just, you know, playing for fun. But later on I do want to upgrade my mic, you know, to something new in the future. Not the now, but, you know, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with this mic. I'll upgrade it in the future, right? Probably something better. Because I have this, uh, you know, the spit bit to stop you from spitting in your mic or, you know, sound and all that. I have that, but... If you move it a little bit too forward, it just slings around and just 
does not cover the mic so you have to put it at the very top and you have to push it back and it just holds in place pretty well but if you nudge it it just you know slips over and it's quite funny it's because I never uh, actually tightened it very properly because uh, I was not very good at assembling stuff I could assemble a fan but then the fan would be missing that one bolt that holds it up but it would still you know stay in the same position you probably hear the same the fan that I'm currently talking about. It's looking away now. You must not be happy with me. <laughs> uh. But I would definitely would say that you know my channel has uh, changed quite a lot from the early days of uh, gaming Tuesday. Uh, let's see. I can just look at that, huh? It might have not been the best uh, quality of a video. I think I was using OBS for this. Yeah, I was using OBS. Not the best sense, but I was, you know. It kept me entertained. A lot of the time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, this video looks better than this video. Because this one is currently in a better quality. And this one's currently at a worse quality. Even though this one does look a lot better, it does actually look a lot better. It's quite smooth and textured and all that. But this one seems to run better because, you know, it's five years old and this one's, you know, just been released not that long ago. I'm not joking, it was released, like, how long How long ago did this start recording? About 20 minutes ago it was uploaded. Uh, let's see. But comparing these two videos to, you know, Gazer, I, I probably improved with recording. Well, I have improved with recording. Mic quality has improved. The channel's improved. I had probably, like, three subscribers at this point, or at least two. Uh, let's see. I was so excited when I got my first subscriber. I, I think my first commenter did not come until later, and that was, uh... What was his name? Yeah, my first commenter did not come until later, and that was uh, Ruby the Fish. I don't know their exact name, it was on my first ever Minecraft video in my hardcore series. I'm pretty sure if I was to go to my channel at all. And I head all the way down. Not all the way down. Uh, let's see, and I head along. One of these have... i just go to my playlist. It's easier. Easier and uh, more efficient, right? It's just a bunch of random things in L. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few of these now. So, Minecraft Bot. It, I do quite enjoy the Minecraft Bot series. Problem is, there's only two episodes and failed episode. I had a bunch of blah hazards, but I deleted the pictures. Turns out if you delete the pictures, they don't actually pop up still. Because there's no file to keep it going. And I did not know that, so... And it, it was, you know, not very good. And then, failed episode, Minecraft, but I love blah hazards, and I had blah hazards everywhere. Blah hazards hanging from, you know, ropes and all that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back a little bit. Uh, let's see. And then this is just a bunch of random stuff. I saved this because someone said it's pretty good for YouTube videos, but I never used it. I think I might have used, tried to use it once, but never used it properly. Uh, old Minecraft nostalgia. I use that for Minecraft nostalgia. Think back on the you know, old times and old videos. Someone recommended me this, and then this I was watching with my sister. You know, Minecraft Oasis. I was watching with Barry, I was watching Minecraft Oasis. A long time ago, I, I don't know why I still have it here. Uh, let's see. We got like a few episodes in, and then we stopped watching it. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? Ah, here it is. I was wondering why the, it only went so far there. That's because it's the multiple playlist. I really need to get rid of this multiple playlist. You put what playlist you actually want in there, and you know, that's how it goes. Uh, let's see. Minecraft. But Halo MCC. That's Minecraft. Well, not Minecraft. That's 
I was about to say Halo Minecraft, but it's Halo Master Chief Collection. Sorry, I was looking at Minecraft over here and then said M for MC because Minecraft. You know, Minecraft. Minecraft Halo. <laughs> uh, we played Halo 1, we played Halo 2, and we played Halo Reach. And if I did it today, I would probably remaster it. You know, you know fix it all up. Because my PC can run Halo now. Hopefully. At least, you know, I hope it can run Halo. It's a pretty good uh, RTX to have. I can run Minecraft shaders now. Uh, let's see. But I'm hoping that I can play the Halo games again. I'll probably ha play Halo Combat Evolved again, right? Minecraft Tekken, I need to restart. I've been trying to restart the series for ages now. And I was very close to starting it before I got... Well, before Christmas, I was going to start it up again. But then I never actually started up, and I will actually play it at some point. At some point, yeah. some point. Pokemon Bronze version. I played that for a while. Sadly, after a while I could not figure out where to go. I kind of got lost permanently. Uh, Random Craft SMP. That was a that was a great SMP, I would definitely say. I quite enjoyed playing that SMP. But the lag became unbearable and then, you know... I was building roads and that's all I did was build roads in this world. If I ever, you know, went on the SMP again, I do have a SMP that I actually joined recently and that's Kairos? Kairos? Or Kairos? SMP and it's just a chill SMP where... Some people do role plays and then some people just, you know, chill. Uh, let's see. But I do quite enjoy a random craft SMP. Minecraft Jungle Paradise Supernova. The series that brought back Minecraft Golden Age. Because it inspired me to actually start building again. Proper building. And I might as well show you what I mean. Because by the final episode... I got the emulsion blade, but it was a terrible, and I mean a terrible, uh, probably one of my worst uh, fights I've ever had with a wizard. Uh, this was, yeah, the worst wizard fight ever. I, I was so done after that. But I kept, uh, I kept building. I had, uh, I was rebuilding a chicken coop at that point. Uh, let's see, Superman zombie. I expected this video to get a lot more views back in the day. But, it was a terrible fight with a zombie. It kept killing me over and over again. It's probably the most times I've ever died in a jungle paradise in a row. Was this one battle with this one enemy. Because it sucked me in and then it hit me. And it did so much damage that it just drilled right through my, uh, what do you call it? Armor, like butter. Uh, let's see. But there's many stuff that, you know, started inspire me to build and that was making our house. That inspired tiny bits of, you know, what would become in the next one. Cherry Blossom Tree Biome. I hated that mod. That mod kind of ruined a big chunk of my world because uh, it was all cherry blossoms. And I do quite enjoy the cherry blossom mod. But it was nothing like they said it was got to be. The pictures were all a lie in the mod. It was absolutely terrible looking. Oh yeah. This is when I started the monastery for my... It would later become the temple to bridge master. But it was just called a monastery first. And it was the outline of it. I also built four big pillars, right? At each corner of it. And each of those corners would have a statue on it. That, that was really pushing me back in the day. It kind of broke me near to the end of the series having to work on that. But I finally kind of got it finished. Uh, let's see. I had a stone tree and then I had a bird or a dragon or something. I don't know what. Uh, road system. Ah yes. This inspired me to start building a road system. And I would not actually build another road system. This kind of inspired... This and uh, the monastery inspired me to come back to Jungle Paradise Golden Age. It now has over 597 episodes. Uh, let's see, and still ongoing. Uh, let's see. 
But these two builds really inspired me to start building properly again. And, you know, if it wasn't for that, I would not be doing what I am doing today. Uh, let's see. We would have had, you know, many episodes of Supernova and then I would have ended after a while. I wonder. This could have been the end of Jungle Paradise altogether, you know. This would have been the end. Because I probably, uh, I felt very broken after the Emotion Blade. And I decided to head back to Jungle Paradise. Looks like there's also, ah, oh, I thought there was two episode 17s there. Is this, uh, what do you call it? Episode really broke me. And I felt like, you know, what the Emotion Blade, right? That it was good, but I felt too weak and I felt like I did not have all the stuff that I had before. I don't know how you would describe it, right? I had all the stuff that I needed in Jungle Paradise Golden Age and all that. But I left Jungle Paradise Golden Age and also that okay up there compared to this okay down here. Uh, I would say, definitely say that this okay inspired that okay down there. You can kind of see it. I think I might have used that as a base or something. Yeah. I think I rebuilt uh, the face and then uh, rebuilt the environment. As uh, it's just built very similar. Looks like you know it's exact copy of that okay up there. Uh. I still quite enjoy, you know, this series though. It did inspire me to start building, you know, back to what I was building back in the day, right? Because I used to build, uh, adventure maps back in the day. And then, uh, by Jungle Paradise Golden Age and all that, well, by Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age, I started relying on you for uh, coming up with ideas every once in a while. I would ask you, you if you want, you know. If you had any ideas, just leave it down in the comment section down below. And that was a good idea, but no one really commented that much. They Like, people enjoyed the videos, they would comment sometimes. But they didn't really comment down ideas. So, I left Jungle Paradise, thinking, you know, I've passed 100 episodes, that's me done. And I was thinking it was 112 or 113. But that was going to be the end of uh, Jungle Paradise Golden Age, was episode 112. But Supernova re-inspired my build and drive, and I came back to Jungle Paradise Golden Age. Probably not the first time that I've explained this, but, you know, it gave me a boost. And, it, you know, it allowed me to come back to Golden Age, right? I would definitely say Jungle Paradise Supernova is a big part of uh, the history of Jungle Paradise. Because it was Jungle Paradise, well... All of the Jungle Paradise originate from my modded survival series about three years, two, two years, almost three years now. I'll see. And it all, I'm quickly going through here, it all started with, it's not here. That's very strange. You know what? I'm going to open up another thing and I'm going to show you something if I can find it. Tinkleberry modded survival one. Du -du -du -du. No, it's not showing any of it. Right, uh... Oops. Series one. I think it might have been called. Nah, it's not showing me what I wanted. Quite strange. Quite strange. I'm pretty sure it was around here. Maybe I'm not looking close enough. Maybe I went right over it. But I might as well go back to some other stuff. Minecraft Fun Little Survival Modded series was a series that started back in the sixth month of uh, 2021. As I'm reading it from the number that I placed. I normally place numbers next to it just so I know when I started the series and all that. But I started this uh, series uh, 
as a fun little modded survival series. And it would eventually end due to me accidentally, what do you call it? Hmm. I started the game without the mods and everything that I had just done the previous episode was gone. The trees in my surrounding area were bare, uh, my windows were gone in my house, and a lot of stuff, even my slurring was gone in my house. Uh, but just before that one, I started Minecraft, a Minecraft series made by Tinkerbell, The Legend of Bar. A kind of series that was uh, actually quite popular, I would definitely say. It was quite popular on my channel. And it was a fun series, right? It was kind of like RL Craft, I would definitely say so. I was going to actually switch to RL Craft to play that instead. Because the mod pack that I had made was very complicated and I did not know what I had in here. So, it was mostly complicated and I really loved that red panda in the background there. You know, I thought red pandas back in the day were actually red pandas. Creations SMP. That was a great SMP. I'm kind of sad that it ended. Oh, light. And where are they? Gronk. Gronk was a nice person. They were known by in their end. They were a nice person. Uh, let's see. But sadly, uh, I can't remember the reason why the server uh, declined. No one was really playing it, so I think that's why it was shut down, right? But I really missed, uh, I really missed the server. Gronk stopped uh, actually recording and just focusing on real life. That was the last time that I ever heard from them. And then the last thing that I ever heard from the Discord was uh, me. Uh, posting a meme. 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. And then that's how uh, Gronk deleted the, the Discord server. I uh, should not have posted that back in the day. Maybe I would have been still in contact with Light or... Gronk. Uh, it's old Miss Gronk. Gronk was a nice person. They were quite a modern like player but also at the same time they were kind of an old school player. Something that I was still trying to find my foot in, in at this time. Right. Like I had Jungle Paradise Golden Age at the time right. But I was still finding my foot in on what I was doing on uh, YouTube at the time. Uh, I'll see, and I almost died there to, what do you call it, enemy there. Uh, I'll see. This is me being paranoid. Can't remember why. But sometimes I, I had this feeling back in the day that, you know, you're not alone. Someone could be watching. You know, that kind of paranoia. And I can't remember what it was. I, ah, yes, I remember now. I was kind of paranoid that they were going to come and, you know, attack me. Because it's normally an SMP that normally happens. Ah, uh, let's see. So, I was just doing random stuff, I think, around here. can't remember what was going on here. I think I just called the episode Paranoid. Ah. I think this tunnel was uh, the tunnel that I had to crouch through. No, that that was uh, that was a newer SMP. That was Speed Trooper Craft SMP. My little uh, hidey hole that you had to crouch in and it had your uh, name tag. Tango's Museum. Oh, that's when I opened my museum. That was a great thing. I took uh, the original set of armour owned by Gronk and put it in the museum. Have a nice day. Smiley face, huh? That's nice. It was not very impressive. My building skills had not really improved too much around this time. Uh, I'll see. Hall of Craters. That was the last thing that I did, right? That was one of the last things that I did was the Hall of Craters. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Such a historical wall. 
I've decided to uh, Gronk, a member and owner of Creations. SMP. SMP, I was about to say. Uh, or what I was about to write. Light a member of Creations SMP. And I was got to fill this wall up with a bunch of people from the server. Tobacco. Ah, oh, I still remember Tobacco. Pretty sure. Is that the person that was, uh. Yeah, that was the person that was, uh, still around. I remember I was still talking to them on Twitter a long time ago. Uh, let's see. Not checked on them in a little while. I did say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to them a little while ago. Hopefully they're doing okay. Ah. Sorry, I was just thinking back to the server. Okay. Before this gets any longer, I'm going to head back a little while. You know what, I'll let play a little bit. Right, where do we leave off? Ah, yes. Here. So we're going on to horror games. I only did one horror game for the horror games playlist, and that was Okari. That I quite enjoyed, even though, I'm going to tell you a fact about this, I kept my headset on my shoulders because I was that the, the sounds were really uh, singing to me so I did not really uh, keep my headset on while playing it even though that's what you're supposed to do when you're playing a horror game but the bumping sound kept uh, singing me from concentrating and all that yeah, I might I'm gonna make a reference to it. I'm a Japanese schoolgirl <laughs> uh. Because you played as a Japanese schoolgirl at the time. It was a quite sad story. You were str your family was struggling to pay and your mother uh, dies at the end. And then you die after that. But my question was, who set up the rope and chair? No one really explained that at the very end. Ah yes, Minecraft, not so simple, modded survival. That was actually a great uh, thing. My only struggle was uh, every once in a while... Uh, the bomb craft, right? They spawned in uh, these crusaders, and these crusaders would uh, be very annoying and attack me a lot. And I would use some of their ar armor for myself, and that I also had denison. But I uh, ended the series after a little while. I can't remember the reason. Attack on B team. I ended the series after a bit. The end of Dragon and Sync. That's what happened with Not So Simple Modded Survival. I finished the game and then I just never played it again. Hex, I did Hex at 1 and Hex at 2. Hex at 1, I quite enjoyed. And then my dog died. Dennis died and uh, when I tried to restart Hex at 1. And I went on to do Hex at 2. And that would start m my journey on. Simbacraft, because uh, Simbacraft's owner, or I think it was the owner, yeah, the owner, uh, commented down below, you know, about you know joining the SMP and all that, and I joined the SMP, and that was Simbacraft. I still see to this day, you know, Simbacraft was not bad. It was bad, but it was not bad. Like I still don't like you know that you know, even though I used. Discord to talk with uh, Singy to ask him what it was all about. I did talk with him in Minecraft, counting as uh, as lore, uh, because I talked to him in Minecraft about it, and you know, I was trying to be a detective and you know solve this mystery of why uh, there was uh, spiders getting transported to the owner's place, and I cannot remember the owner's name. And that is how Simbacraft ended, and also Greybeard was saying, "Ah, uh, oh, if it only happened in Discord, you know, it doesn't happen in game. You can't use Discord as you know, even though it did happen in game if you watched the video." Uh, and that was one of the reasons why I left Simbacraft after uh, doing my big lava cast. That I was also planning on uh, transforming the lava cast into such beautiful things. I'm pretty sure I had a sketch somewhere. 
and it was of a uh, beautiful lava cast. Like, you know, lava cast, they say they're the most ugliest thing in Minecraft, but they have the most potential because you can make it in any shape you want. And then you can use it as a fast way of making a build because of all that cobble. Uh, but you can use it as like a shape thing. So if you wanted a mountain, you could just shape a mountain with it. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like lava casts. Never lava cast in a long time now, since Simbacraft. Uh, let's see, Rising Kingdoms SMP. I played on it for a long time. We did a bunch of stuff, right? And I invited so many people on it, and I ended it. Well, I only ended it because uh, my friend Acid, who's friends with Barry, uh, could not host the server no more. And we shut it down, so the server was ended after that. Uh, let's see. And I built many stuff on the server, but a lot of the things that were uh, built on the server, I think the last thing I was doing was building a nuclear power plant that would power a uh, barb town. And also, you might not know what Barb Town is, but in the last episode of Rising Kingdoms SMP, I was building a town, and I never recorded Rising Kingdoms SMP ever again after that. Because I finished the town, and then, you know, I built the power plant, and that's when uh, the server ended. I also built a big shopping mall, and it was a beautiful shopping mall. Had some rainbows on the front, make it more inviting. And it had these two cross bridges that you could cross up to. And then I had the, what do you call it, way up and way down and all that. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, that was me finishing with that bit. Tankleberry SMP, only four episodes. An SMP that I mostly did a lot of the stuff in creative just to make, you know, a little bit more funner for the people. But, you know, this is my first time actually owning an SMP. You know, this is me looking for people. Uh, let's see. And... If I go here, this was my puzzle that I built to let people play and, uh, what do you call it, whoever got to the top got a reward and it was a piece of netherite and some other stuff I think. You won. Great job. Collect your prize in the chest below. I don't think I ever showed the reward, but it was in there. I did not want to spoil it, I think that's what it was. This was the, the original spawn point, I think. And then I built it over there. It's the actual spawn point. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's my original hut that I built on the SMP. Uh, that's my house. That was uh, the entrance area. Very beautiful place, I put a lot of flags up around here, that was my flag shop over there, that was the courthouse where I was got to decide on, you know, who's been good or not. That's my, uh, house there that I did all of my, uh, trading stuff, like I would sell you stuff, like iron or something, for something. Uh, I'll see. May not be much, but it's home to me, thank you, server. There's a the community farm. It was used... And then also not used. Must replant or be kicked. Maybe you never know. <laughs> uh. Also in the back over there would have been. Uh, also a northern is right armor. Uh, I, I, nev I never actually got it. So I only got it in creative. So there was a lot of cheating. But you know. I only cheated just for fun. Uh, let's see. That's where Clay built his house. And then uh, Eclipse built their house up there. Zinka also built their house somewhere in the swamplands over here. But I would only discover that in the final episode of Simbacraft SMP. Where I explored a bunch of stuff around the server. Ah, that was a beautiful bridge project. That was me showing off all the players who joined. Clay, the first player. Wolfie Cookie, I also joined their uh, Pixelmon SMP after, a long time after. They were okay for a while, but they started uh, using their, uh, what do you call it? They were from an orphanage, they said. 
or you know what would be an orphanage I don't know care home I think it would be yeah it's care home in today's world not very good but yeah normal more modern stuff and uh, we'll see in plus I've been playing too much Skyrim Grella the Kind and all that uh, but Wolfie Cookie used to uh, use their uh, disability to you know draw in people and all that I can't remember what it was about but it was one of those things that uh, I just distanced myself from her and did not want to be friends with her no more uh, we'll see that was a year ago that uh, we'll see but I do say that was a great decision that was my original uh, mining hole that I actually mined down but then I built this place and actually accidentally ran into it this was all the players that uh, joined and some of these players did uh, stop playing because at the very beginning I made a rule that no people under 14 were allowed to play and a lot of them were mad so they left uh, we'll see Ray Y69 that was a uh, Sun Clarity's lover, who's now their ex, I think. Look, Sun Clarity broke up with them, I think. I don't know. I never, I never learned what happened properly. I can't remember. It's been that long. Ah, uh, let's see. We also had a bunch of rules here, you know. No going to the end or end portal slash stronghold. The reason why that was a rule. It's because I felt like it would be too laggy if people were flying around with elytras, even though I did use a elytra at some point. Uh, let's see. I normally just played around with fireworks and a crossbow. No killing pets. If rules are not followed, you will be banned or kicked. Kick. Ban or kick. Be ban or kick. Be respectful to others. Wars are not are allowed, but not to spawn. Because I was trying to make this more like, you know, you would own a faction outlands. I'm pretty sure, uh, I think it was Sun Clarity was building like a northern kingdom. Uh, let's see, no swear, no racism, and other things. Homophobia and transphobia and all that. Uh, no killing and spawn, no griefing and stealing. Very old rules I had on my server. Ah. Uh, my flag shop. I used to sell tons of flags here. All different kinds though. Had America, had France, had trans, had pan, all of that. Uh, we'll see. And that was my old uh, Tower of Prizes. It had uh, a bunch of wool around it because people kept cheating. And I know who it is. Uh, we'll see. And also this was the end battle. I realised the end battle was kind of, you know, a little bit cheating because I had to spawn in arrows because we ran out of arrows. And we were just playing for the end of the server. It wasn't actually going to be the end of the server, but I decided that it would be the end of the server. We were going to fight the wizard, but, you know, I think it was best to end the server then. My original hut. And then this was uh, the thing that I never actually got to use, and it was this building here. That was going to be where I set off a bunch of fireworks for the true end of the server, but I never got everyone together. No go, slime room. Yeah, that's where a bunch of slimes were. They were just spawn in that one room. Very annoying. This was uh, Zinka's house. Long time ago, Zinka. Uh, ZX Zinka. ZX Zinka. Uh, they still stream to this day. Uh, let's see. Just not been in contact with Zinka in a long time. Uh, let's see. I remember catching their streams back in the day. Oh, rolling. She ha. And then we had the best pig in the business. Biz 21 Awards. Pig Taxi Service. And that was... Nug... G... Pro Prorky, Prorky, Nugji Prorky, non by new pig. Can't remember what this one over here was because I can't see it very well. Bob, Rock, he him. Yes, I made a bunch of uh, different pigs. I'll see. And it was a taxi service that you know 
ran quite, quite far. I used to ride it at certain points and just adventure. That's where uh, my slime died, but turns out he didn't actually die. That was Acid's house. That was uh, my rainbow tower that I built as a decoration for the server. I'll see. And then there was the lighthouse that I built. There was a fort that I was building. There was a Coliseum that some Clarity built when they were, uh, when I hired them. That's what it was. Uh, let's see. That was me just fixing stuff while I was flying around. Then there was a Hobbit house over this way. Uh, let's see. There's Clay's original house. This is me just going around seeing my shop and all that. Great memories, great memories, I would definitely say so. Uh, let's see. You know, this was supposed to be my, what do you call it, episode when I do the five years anniversary part one, but then it's just me talking about the whole history of my channel. Uh, okay, but then there's Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age, a series that has had its ups and downs. I might as well go back to the original episode. Small change to our to our old base. That's when I was making some changes to our old base. Day 999, 470. I have to actually click this so I could go back further. Why won't it go back further? Tell you, it's terrible. But that was the old thumbnail right there. You can see it there. That's when I was doing the pillar. Or the beacon. Kind of reminds me of the Halo beacon. And then there's an the older thumbnail. Changed the thumbnail like two or three times. And then added stuff to it. Every once in a while. There was the original one. And there was my original change. And that's what my thumbnails were going to change to. In Golden Age. Minecraft and Paradise Golden Age. But then I changed it to a different thing. And then if we go further back. It would be the first episode of Junk Paradise. And there's the original thumbnail. I changed it about six times, I think. I'm pretty sure it, it will be here. It was 115 that was going to end the channel. Possible end. Pretty sure you can hear me talking about. There was a big opening. This is me deciding on what Jungle Paradise would be next. Jungle Paradise Horizons, Jungle Paradise 1.0, uh, a 1.16 Jungle Paradise, then I think a 1.18. You pick. Uh, and there's no vanity in the background. Whatever happened to no vanity, the raccoon? I think they just died. I never actually noticed when they died. I think I did notice, but I can't remember. It's been that long. I, I start, this was the original side. I started chiseling this and making it look a lot better later on. And this was my return back to the series. Tango's return to Junk Paradise Golden Age. So you can hear me slamming the starting button. Paradise Golden Age episode, I don't know what one. Just return back to the series. Ah. Uh. God, I had a chocobo. I was wondering what that pink thing was in the garden. Ah, this series uh, has uh, changed so much from this time. Well, I would say that, you know, before this and then after... We don't really count this as being an episode. I would definitely say stuff before this and stuff after this would be like the true. And this would be, you know, what would have been the end. Uh, let's see. But I quite enjoyed the start of the series, right? There was so many stuff, and that's when I built the windmills back in episode 500. Tawanda's dead, so that was my first wife, I think. I had uh, Chuck the librarian as my husband, and then I had uh, Tawanda. And then episode 14 is where Daryl, my friend, sadly died. Uh, my Triceratops is. Over 550 like episodes for, you know, old. Time. But that one there, this one. 
I need this because it has my village at it. Yeah, there's it no more function. Village, but, like, expand it, make a wall around it. Eh, uh, let's see. I guess we have... This is me coming off of, you know, playing uh, Minecraft Jungle Paradise Supernova. So, you can hear that I'm a little bit dull, but it uh, would eventually start to, you know, pick up again. Let me just head back. And that was our most modern episode. Where we did a bunch of work on our house. Just fixing old stuff, talking about old history of the world. Here it is. Be free of re, be free of re SMP. <clears throat> this would definitely be my worst SMP I've ever been on. And I'll probably just let you hear it for a little bit. I'm going to play my intro bit. Hello and welcome to... I'll just skip that a little bit. Yeah, I would definitely say this would have been the worst SMP I've ever been on. It was quite a toxic SMP. There was a... Here's the question. Call it. Are we able to kill the end of Dragon like this? Probably not. I was making a joke, you know, okay. could we kill the ender rack and like this? Uh, we could finally pick up stuff and make stuff and all that. Play attack me. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. So Clay SMP, the first SMP that I've ever been on. I originally thought that, you know, Clay was attacking Eclipse and be be Beef Barry, Eclipse's friend. Not my Barry, but a different Barry. And that is why I thought, you know, he was a bad guy in the situation. But later on, I would evaluate the situation over and over again. I would play the episode and, you know, watch it. And I would just keep playing it over and over again. And then, you know, it finally clicked that, you know, he wasn't actually a bad guy. It was these people that were bad guys because they were stealing from him on purpose and then he would get mad and kill them ah uh, let's see and then the server would eventually go even further down 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 this is a uh, my attempt at trying to uh what do you call it survey singy's house i can't remember his name I cannot remember his name. Castle is his name? I don't know. But that was uh, Bonnie over there. Uh, let's see. I was getting poisoned and slowness and all that. Some lamb chops from me. Ah, uh, let's see. It's a very uh, unfunctional ladder. Was, uh, I think his name was Castle. Rebuilt uh, Technoblade's house, and I would later uh, plant a TNT in the basement of it. He, he was very sad and ended up killing me. But I was uh, very done with the server. I did build up a new house and all that. You know, it's funny. You know what, this is a good point. <laughs> this is me running away from him after blowing up the house. With one TNT in the basement. You know, it's funny. What? I think I just blew up my house. It did? Yup. You can hear how quiet I am because I only I hear my voice. Guys. Well, not my voice, but my heart. But for some reason, I kept spawning at my house. Why are we going to war? The only reason why I was going to war was because uh, the server was very toxic. People were swearing quite a lot. Uh, you know, people swear. Right? Tanko, why are you going to war? 
Well, I'm trying to think of the situation. What was it again? Uh, trying to think of what it was. Castle was very uh, aggressive. Like even after it, I watched like a live stream after this of clips, and it was them at uh, election right. And he was acting like, you know, Technoblade would. So I guess he was watching, you know, Dream SMP at the time. Uh, let's see. I sold him, like, a factory that, you know. And I do have something that I want to show, and that's the comments. Sad to see you go one year ago. It was a good SMP for me, but it became no longer fun. And that was actually true. But it wasn't actually a good SMP, I just slapped that in there so, you know, they would think it was a good SMP. For a 5 iron blocks weekly for a poop house. Well, it was a year ago, it doesn't matter now. And then, uh, hello Aided, why are you here? On this old vid. I was very tired at this point. Uh, let's see, W me, win me. Uh, let's see. But... The thing is, it's not actually. I did not actually sell him a house. I originally sold him a factory that I would build into a factory, and I had it all functioning, an idea in my head. But I never actually became. Uh, I only took what oh. was necessary to me at the time. My name's the wall. Yeah. The Rowan. All right. It's an acronym. You can guess, but you won't be right. We're over an hour long now. Can you get access to our old claim? I have all this shit. Also, I was trying to get rid of my claim also, so I did not spawn at my house. But turns out there is no uh, spawn thing. So at the very end, when I uh, died in water, I, I sacrificed myself in water. So it would seem that I was, uh, what do you call it? How would you describe it, right? I don't know how you would describe it, right? Wait one second. Where's more? They have no time to waste. He knows our direct locations. Is this west here? Good settle down here. Yeah, he's definitely not happy. Could pop all my stuff in a chest, huh? Wait one second. Am I back now? Yeah, I am back. Okay, sorry about that. So, hopefully you are doing okay. Uh, I'll see. This was uh, me shoving all my stuff in a chest. And then I was going to... I set my bed spawn here, right? And then I died in the water. And then I was showing myself the coordinates of this so I could, you know, get my stuff back. Not really that very powerful, but I was going to come back and, you know... Fight aided castle one day, or at least come up with a sizable redstone creation to uh, do so. Uh, let's see. But uh, I found out the issue is I cannot actually die, so I have to wait for a uh, suffocating in water. How do I remove? I don't know. I don't know. This was uh, this Australian person then.
this is when everything just fell apart. My entire plan and all that. And you can see how toxic they are. That's Bonnie there. You can see they're in their dress slant skin. That's me going deeper in the water. Ah. Uh. This is a aided castle destroying my house even more. Even though I did destroy it myself, you know, he didn't really have any part in destroying it because I already destroyed it myself. I'll see. This is me trying to uh, lead my own clan, so maybe it would work. This is me mining out so I can... There's in these under caves and all that. Maybe if I set home here it would have worked. Well, this is me heading even deeper into the caves. I think we're... Uh, let's see. This is how I ended the game. I went up to the very top, did my outro. <laughs> Tinkleberry's SMP or Orange SMP. I said, you know, three different things there. Okay, I want to hear this from the very start. What point? Ah, there was a point I was going to make. You know what? I still actually have the seed of this world, and I am going to return back to it at some point. I want to do a Minecraft survival series on it. And then I made like a speech before leaving there, and that's how it ended. I made a final speech after this episode. And I did so. And I got 53 views for this video. Not bad. Uh, let's we'll see. But that was the end of B3 of ESMP, a very toxic server. And if I can find what I'm looking for, we can head back to where we left off in the list. Here we go. Clay SMP. Wait. Oh yeah. Why did I head over to... I think I was finishing off this area. Oh yeah. Pokemon Sweet. This is me doing a uh, Pokemon Platinum. I never actually continued the Pokemon Platinum series. I will actually return back to it at some point soon. In the future. Uh, I was thinking about doing more of my Pixelmon series. But I think I might actually just. You know. Cancel the Pixelmon series. And do something else. I need to watch that. Sorry about that. Ugh. <laughs> uh. But here's my uh, Pokemon Sweet series I accidentally just moved. Why? Is that not going where? It should go. Don't know. That means it's got to pop up on there. Uh... Did not mean to do that, but uh, this is the first episode. And this is how the adventure began. Would definitely say this game was probably my most favourite Pokemon Sweet. Pokemon Sweet 2 only lasted a little while and it was terrible. The difficulty scale was, you know, broken. Also, you can see Activate Windows. My computer always did that back in the day because I got it and then it would always show this in my videos. Very annoying back in the day. Even though I did have Windows, it still said. Activate windows, go to your settings. Uh, let's see. Still actually have that PC. Uh, let's see. Licorita. I think that was around the end of the episode there. Wait one second. Uh, let's see. I can put that away now. Uh, here we are. 
actually what? Yeah, that's that's where we were. Uh, Clay SMP, my favourite, you know, SMP to have been on. This was the latest episode when uh, Clay had a power trip. And then we went on a run for a long, long time on a boat ride. And you can see how long and how weird this episode was because that's always got to be a chill episode and then it kind of went overboard. And then the SMP was going to be reset so it would be a fresh beginning and we could just chill and play on it. But that is yet to happen and I don't, I don't even think it will continue. Uh, let's see. But that's uh, Clay right there. Uh, five months ago I started this. Uh, let's see. Emmy's Realm was the last time that I played, uh, or played or used the uh, Clay SMP what do you call it? Series playlist. And I quite enjoyed that but then Henry started attacking me and all that. Kind of, you know, became quite bad. He just kept, you know, teleporting to me, attacking me. Even though they both keep inventory on it, it was quite singy. Ah, uh, let's we'll see. Elections I had in Clay SMP 2.0. Ah, uh, let's we'll see. Rebuilding. Blown up at Bessie's house. And then uh, he burned down my rainbow tower. It was just a tiny little rainbow tower. I made that joke, you know. Oh, he doesn't like rainbows and LGBTQ plus and all that even though you know it's just a joke and we were having ah uh, let's see where what where was it uh who one second now I'm trying to find I would log on every once in a while. What, what did it say? All you have done is take and destroy stuff. Clay said that I was just... No, you are not playing the victim. Tried to be nice to you, but all you had done is take and destroy stuff. Even though you know I was just playing around there. Uh, uh, let's see. This did not want to play around. And then he acted like, you know, Oh, I don't know what happened to the Rainbow Tower thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I made the joke here. Look, this guy hates the LGB2, LGBT community. That was a joke there. As I did say in the, and also warning, any jokes in the video are just a joke. Uh, oh, it's a secret bunker. Totally forgot about that. Here's uh, the secret bunker. Now, now this was a mystery that I tried to solve for so long in the Clay SMP. Uh, let's see. I always loved the Clay SMP because we just Night joked around because, like, you know, we were all friends. Uh, let's see. And then we added a uh, you know who to the server. Well, we only added one and then another one just joined. And that started the end of the server when Eclipse joined, the one from B3 of SMP. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They're not too bad, but you know, they're friends. Yeah, yeah. At least I met better, simple. friendlier Australians. Uh, let's see. This is me when I built the, what do you call it, my election building, where we did the election uh, ab against Abyss with Clay and Dark. This is when I was doing a battle against, we wrote, I wrote in a Glass Panes War. It was not really the best idea. Uh, let's see. As it was very hard to actually read. W. It, it was terrible at reading. The reason yeah. why we want to build a wall is because we're going to. No, yeah. we're going to trap in. 
Epis. Uh, we've got to build a wall around it. But it was only when, I think Dark was the last person. This was the end of the road. At the very end of the series. That never actually uh, became the end of the road because I still continued to play on the server. Uh, let's see, and I made it. I think that was the end of Dragon Fight. Or just Blueberry joined me for a little while. Uh, let's see. If I much just woke up. Eclipses online. Uh, let's see. This was the wall that we were building. And then I was at war with Aided Castle again. We definitely see. Aided Castle. Eclipse. Really, you know, we're not the best people. Uh, I would say I quite enjoyed a nicer time, and that was actually Clay SMP. We just chilled and played me and Eclipse. Well, not Eclipse. Me and Clay. Eclipse was there. Uh, let's see. But we don't care about Eclipse. This is me trying to make a bubble yeah. elevator, not knowing that you need a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, water buckets to place all the way up. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And then I built a road that would begin my building of roads on SMPs yeah, for many times over. Hello and welcome back to... You can see my voice is starting to get better around this time. This is me using a headset mic at this time. Yeah. He doesn't sound too much different than what he was, you know, yeah. to not that long ago. I had to collect spruce logs from a house to make it taller. It wasn't actually a very good house though. It was a terrible house. Uh, I like the idea of living by the river because it's chill. But he gave me diamonds at the very beginning. Yeah. It kind of was overpowered, you know, just getting given a bunch of diamonds, but I had to say, this was my most favourite time on any SMP that I've ever had experienced. Now and since. Uh, let's see. Because, you know, we were just having fun. It was more like, you know, you know how people talk about the 2012 nights of just, you know, you know how people talked about the times of playing with their friends in 2012 on a hot, you know, summer night? It felt kind of like that. Or a cold summer night. It felt like that, you know, we were just having fun. Uh, before everything got serious with uh, random lure or me break. just trying to, you know, have fun by yeah. making random stuff like governments. But you should also get uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Governments and all that stuff, uh, making a mob farm. That's a mob farm there. Uh, let's see. But we had fun like this creating like lore. Even though we didn't know, know really much of what we were doing. Uh, we were just, you know, playing around. That's what the server was mostly about. But then Clay SMP2 kind of just became, you know, a drag. We would say, you know, just dragging across the ground. Because, you know, it kind of had us up. And then it had its downs, and it just had a lot of downs. Ah, uh, let's see. Like our war against uh, Bess when we burnt down his house. I was actually going to rebuild his house. as a gift for him. But he never actually came back. And I remember him hiding his armour in this uh, thing. I didn't actually know it was his armour. I thought it was Clay's armour. Because I thought Clay was leaving the server. Ah, uh, let's see. Small roller coaster and Clay joins. Wait one sec. Uh, there's something that I do want to show you, isn't Throw the that flag out here. I was putting up these uh, flags everywhere, so it would look nice. It's kind of like an anarchy flag. So, uh, let's see. Kind of like the ones from uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's when I was actually creating the flag of Clay SMP. That was the start of the flag. That was this flag right there that I created. Okay, there. Perfect. 
and then that was the flag that you know the banner that I made first and that was the one that I was just making the now that would actually make the what do you call it courthouse okay, look a lot better courthouse was always court. dark and never properly lit up Let's quickly rush there's that pillar that I made and there's uh, the house that I made for uh, Clave and I accidentally burned down his house that was actually an accident. There's my house. What happened to that? Clay burned down my house after that. And then I had to rebuild it. But I also rebuilt his house and all that. Ah, we'll see. Fair bed. Ah, we'll see. So I did rebuild his house after this. And it was actually quite large. He never actually lived there. He went and lived up on the mountain nearby. Ah, we'll see. There's my presidential building. There's a... Uh, my rainbow stuff that I would just make because I wanted to make the server more colourful and make it look a little bit nicer. Might as well. Ah, uh, let's see. And then I made a roller coaster and a boxing ring for like an event. Just chill. Just fun like that. This is actually when it was actually a peaceful time on the Thank server you. and not uh, very chaotic like it would become later on and you know, before. Uh, I think this is when the server was going up and on. Yeah, but that was what I created. It wasn't actually that impressive, it was just, you know, it looked a lot better in my head. I had my bed under there where I slept. And actually I had some netherite. I think some of that netherite was mine and then some of it was uh, from that bowl that I found. But I don't think that was uh, the case. I think that was my uh, one that I had before that would become almost broken later on. So what are you up to? Uh, let's see. Let's go make some of this. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just taking a little while, just chilling and looking at this. Make sure I'm recording. This is 1.16. Oh, back to play after. This is when stuff between, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Eclipse and uh, Clay started to tower. Uh, let's see. So I decided to just go to Iceberg. And then we had this uh, episode when I actually came back. I was actually going to come back after this. It was going to be more clay SMP, but then I went and joined B3 re SMP. This is me trying to, you know, send or get him to send me the seed or the world. Ignore my background then. It was it was just milk. Well this was the last time all I needed is a seed. Oh see it was also nice. Ah uh, let's see. But you know, compared to what I was ha I was having quite fun. That's why it was Back almost three hours time. long this one. That was me just having fun, you know, chilling, we were going netherite mining and all that. And then it just all went down the drain, and I think uh, Clay came to their house and killed them and all that. No. Because I had to turn up my Discord volume. I was building a tunnel all the way to them. What you guys went up to? Uh, flag. I actually made some quite nice flags. I will continue my flag making in nearly every single SMP that I've been on. Uh -oh. <sighs> Wait one second, maybe. There we go. Okay. Well, let's uh, finish off this very long episode now. Oh wait. 
messed up it. I have to go to playlist. Again. And after Clay, well, after uh, Clay SMP, we have my 1.16 series that I ended because I joined a SMP async. A lot of my, you know, world survival series ended because I joined like SMP or started a new series. Fireplace and talks. I did stories, uh, updates, and all that. And I do want to use it a lot more, but I've never actually, you know, properly used it properly anymore. And let's see, Daisy Adventures. That was my Daisy Adventures, my original ones. That were me adventuring, trying to get to one location in my world, well, the world of Chinoris. And I finally got there and finally got to the place where I originally died for the first time. That's quite sad when I died. Fought some guys because they kept shooting me with silencers and all that. Jungle Paradise Redwood. The original series before... Well, this was a series before, or season before, Golden Age. It only ended, and it, it was so close to episode 50 and I was so sad. Because 50 was uh, the episode that I got to on Minecraft Jungle Paradise Season 4. This is Season 5, Golden Age is Season 6. And I was so sad when it ended. It was the first time that I built a cottage and a store, proper storage room in the cottage. And that would transfer over to my newer one. Half-Life 2 and Episode 1 and Episode 2. And then I made an episode on the fan-made game called Transmission Element 120. Minecraft but modded a bit. Uh, a good, well not a good friend, but someone that commented on the first episode would become my rival for the time, Ryan still plays, and he became my rival for a while after that, and then he stopped uploading, not that long ago, like a year or two ago, and I declared that as a victory for me, but I do kind of miss having a rival like him, even though he did not even know he was my rival. Uh, let's see. Just someone that you, you know, you look up to, to beat. Yeah. And a good old rival, rivalry. But he started a Minecraft uh, modded series. But it's Minecraft but slightly modded. And I did Minecraft but modded a bit. And that's also where Minecraft but series came from. I started later on. Minecraft season 3.5. That was also season 4 because I changed the title and because... I did not like season 4 and then I started liking season 4 later on so I changed it to season 4. Random Games Random Days, a series with over 500 episodes, Fallout New Vegas and DLC, that was me doing uh, Fallout New Vegas and all that. Uh, let's see, and I did the DLC later on, uh, Minecraft Adventures and Venture Maps slash Minigames and Mod Reviews. Only did one mod review and then I made a joke video. Uh, let's see as well and then played some adventure maps like Herobrine Mansion a couple of times. And then we did also mini games with Eclipse and Clay and Dark and all of that. Uh, Far Cry 3 Let's Play. That was a very old series that I did a long time ago. And that is all the end of everything that I can show you to now. I'm quite exhausted now, but hopefully you've enjoyed us. Have a nice day, safe, up to the apple, maybe with some rushes, sneakers, vitamins, very important. I'm a bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye bye.